everyone, it's Steve Spangler from The Spangler Effect with another great science experiment from our demo archive. You have uh, heard of the genie in the bottle? You know, you find the bottle, uncork it, pff, genie comes out. Well, this isn't as classy. It's called the um, genie in the tube, Ch genie in the steel pipe, uh, whatever. And the only way to get the genie out, you can do it. come out, genie, you say it doesn't work. The only way you can get the genie out is with fire. Now, already some of you like this demonstration even more than you thought you were going to like it. So here's what we're going to do is you simply wake up the genie. Three, oh, great genie, come out of the tube. All right, here we go. We're working hard to get the genie out of the tube. Wake up, genie, wake up, wake up, wake up. Let's see if the genie... Do you hear the genie? Perfect. So that is the... <laughs> Dumb genie. All right, so you can actually pour the genie out and put the genie into the cup like this, or you can pour the genie back in. All right, there's, okay, stop. There's not a genie in the tube. Of course there's not a genie in the tube, but it is a great, isn't that crazy? A great discrepant event that the sound comes out of the tube. No camera tricks, no, uh, I'm now tired of that. Uh, no camera tricks, nothing like that. Uh, the sound that you're hearing, we didn't dub over. So you're really making sound come out of the tube and how does it work? Well, the reveal is pretty cool. I have a, uh, a glass tube, a furnace tube that I'm using that uh, will show you the secret. If you take a look at this right here, there's a piece of screen. Now it's a heavy gauge metal screen. So what we're really doing, and since I'm using glass and uh, this thick pipe here, I could hang Hang on to with no problem at all but the glass tube heats up fairly quickly so for that reason I'm gonna throw on the glove all right so I'm gonna hold on to it like this watch what happens when we heat up the tube or what we heat up the uh, the uh, screen inside so here's our flame there it goes look at this nice there it is so you have you have now the uh, great conductor of heat right down here, and that's now the hot air rising, correct? And we have air being pulled in through the pipe, resonating in the tube, right? And you hear that sound coming out. So put me putting my hand over the top, that's why it stopped it. But if you notice, they did that little trick um, where it made it look like I was pouring the sound. And what's beautiful about that is this here, watch. So again, the screen is in that same location. I just need to heat up the screen, get it nice and hot. That hot air rises, perfect. I can stop it here, or I can stop it here, or I can turn it. So instead of just turning it, part of the presentation was to pour the sound into the glass. That's where we fooled even science teachers go, you can't pour sound into glass, can you? You go, oh, sure, absolutely. You can pour it right into the, see, of course you can. It's just a matter of when you turn it sideways, the air can't come into the bottom, resonate, and out of the top here. If you're wanting to make one here, the uh, length, Okay, I'm tired of this. Uh, this is a great one. This one is about 19 inches long, and the pipe is <laughs> the pipe is uh, an inch and a half across. Now, I, I want you to make a couple different ones. So here we can try this one here. Imagine a smaller one. What's that sound going to be like if I change the size of the pipe? Here it is, right here. Here, so here we go. Let's see if this gives us a nice sound. Higher. Nice. Good. I hear a concert coming on. Check out this great big tube over here. Size on this one, if you're wondering. Uh, bigger diameter, two inch diameter, and it's 24 inches. So take a listen to this one. So really need to heat it up. This is a thinner pipe, so you really do need to have the gloves on. Here it is. Listen to this one. Much lower than before. Nice, over and back again. It's the singing pipe. It was shared with me years and years and years ago by a wonderful guy by the name of Doug Hodis, and I've used it ever since. A wonderful sound demonstration. It is simple as that screen. My, uh, my word of caution to you is just to make sure that you find a screen that is thick, a heavy gauge screen. It's not a screen that you would find in a screen door. Heavy gauge screen, you'll be able to get it uh, nice and hot and you'll be able to show a pretty cool demonstration using sound. As always, you can visit stevespanglerscience.com for all of the great experiments. Follow us on all the social channels and thank you so much for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, just click subscribe and we'll keep on producing stuff for the Spangler Effect. Keep making science fun.